All right, guys, I'm here with Brian, Top Notch Lawn Care. What's happening? And Kevin, Fall River Lawn Care. How's it going? They're going to be running a skid steer for their first time today. Signing their lives away. So I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I don't want to make a fool out of myself in front of my friends and all these people here. So that's why we waited till the end of the last day to do this. <laughs> what about you? You nervous? Very nervous, but uh, I already know I'm going to make a fool out of myself. <laughs> hey, by the time they get off, they're going to be like, that was it? That's all I had to do? Yeah, get on it. Ryan's going first. Got to learn somehow. What are you going to do? Just get in there and wing it. Hey, but for the first machine you ever get into, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. There he goes. Should be an orange, should be an orange lever down there for the throttle on your right. Okay, there's a gas pedal. There's a, Is there? I don't know. There's a pedal down there. So, I don't feel like I can turn. I got no power. I got the button wrong. For throttle? Okay, that's what I got. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to run and throttle up all the time. Yeah, he's brand new. I didn't want to sell him. Yeah, yeah, maybe half throttle. <laughs>
What do you think? Well, after I did it for a little bit, it was all right. But yeah. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't turn. So I figured it was just because the throttle was down. I was trying to turn around, but it wouldn't let me go. So I was—I didn't know what was going on. So I can definitely see how that can uh, I can help you out in a lot of projects. Oh yeah. Kevin's up. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's, yeah. it's nice. You know, obviously if you had one, you just play around with it for a yeah. couple hours. And, That's know. what I, I've played around at our house a lot, just doing random stuff. You know, I've ran those before. Yeah, those, those are, are those harder, easy. I think. Huh? I said, That's harder I to me. Easy. Once you've learned that, I mean, it's all right yeah. there for you. Sorry, What's hey. going on, Isaac? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Texas? Houston, Texas. Do some mowing? Oh, yeah. yeah doing we mow like all year round. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it barely gets cold in Texas. Yeah. In Houston, at least. You got a little bit of cool weather in January and February, and that's about it. You enjoying the show, man? Oh, yeah. Yep. Demoing all the equipment. Dude, hell yeah, man. Yeah, I just recently found you on YouTube. Really? So I've been going through your videos and stuff, man. I love the content you're putting out. Good deal. Uh, we are just starting to get into like kind of bigger landscape jobs and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. I was watching some of your, I think, paper videos yeah. that we're doing. Yeah, so that's something I've never done, and we've been asked about it just recently. So we might get our first chance. And yeah, do it. Do it if you get a chance, for so, sure. One thing, uh, I just got to figure out pricing on some of that stuff. Yeah. How much to charge and whatnot. Yeah, well, really, I mean, we'll kind of figure at the beginning, I know that, I know that, I know that, do your so best, you know, and obviously if you, if you, you got a 10 by 10, yeah. you got 100 square foot, you go to your supplier and say, hey, I got 100 square foot. How many, how many bricks do I need? How much rock do I need? How much sand do I need? They'll figure all that for you right here. That's stuff that they know off the top of their head. Heck yeah. So don't even waste your time figuring that. You know, it's not wasting your time. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But go up there. I know after we get a couple done, it will just go ahead. Right. Once, once, you do, once you do a few, it's like a you know, Yeah. It's like home run. You know, it's, not, it's not that hard, but you do have to do a few. You know, you do got to get in there and do it. But you go to your supplier and say, hey, this is what I need. That will give you your your material price, you know, right. how you get it delivered. Oh, yeah. But then, you know, you can kind of guess, okay, I think it's going to take you this long to dig it. Obviously, you learn it or you know, estimate your, your labor and go for it. And, you know, you figure it out and study that. You know, keep all your yeah. records of that, study that. And the next job, you say, okay, this is where I screwed up on this one, or this is where you know, I need to make a little bit more, I made great money, and this is where I need to stick to it. You know? Yeah, so, heck yeah. We took a junior year process here. Um, I got we did one on the it was like efficiency and profitability and stuff, and a lot of it was basically based on exactly what you said, just studying what you're doing and paying more attention. Because a lot of guys, you know, we just go in, we do the work, we're really good about getting it done, but we don't pay much attention to it after you pay. Yeah, well, a lot so, of people don't, you know. But you digging a hole down there?
<laughs> go, Brian. Give it a go. No, Ezra, go ahead. No, you play. How about it, man? Fine, What do you think? Oh, that thing is awesome. Yeah. I'd rather run that than that all day long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd like playing a video game. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like you got to you get the hang of what's going And once you get the feel how hard you have to push it to get it to go, you know, uh -huh. to get it to go how far you want. Just keep it from bouncing yep. everywhere. Exactly.